Welcome to part two of our product presentation. Now that we've discussed the theory in detail, I'd like to highlight the key features of MailStore Server in a short product demo before moving on to the technology behind the software in part three. But first, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Dee, and I'm a technical support engineer at MailStore. As we've already completed the setup process, we can start with the software's dashboard. The dashboard gives you a permanent overview of the number of emails you have archived, the number of archived stores, important messages, as well as a rundown of your compliance settings. In the lower part of the screen, you can see when your updated support service will expire and how many user licenses are still available. If you wish, you can also have this information sent to you by email in the form of regular status reports. I would now like to give you a brief insight into the users area. The admin user is created automatically during the installation of the software. If you want to create new users, you have two options. If your working environment is relatively small, you can create users manually. With bigger environments, however, we recommend that you sync with a directory service such as Active Directory in order to create your users in MailStore Server. If a user leaves the company, his or her license can be used for someone else. It goes without saying that this user's archive will remain in existence. Another important point for you to note is that by default, each user is given only a read access privilege to his or her own archive. Let's take a look at how emails can be archived. On one hand, you can archive entire email servers such as Microsoft Exchange or Google G Suite. Here, you can also select the MailStore Gateway archiving profile if you want to use our free add-on program to archive emails from cloud-based services such as Microsoft 365, which prohibit the use of an internal journal mailbox. On the other hand, you have the option of archiving local email clients like Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird. A third option allows you to archive local files if for example, you want to include your PST files in the archive. What is more, you can choose between two different archiving methods. You can configure journal archiving, which will archive your emails the moment they are sent or received. This way, you can ensure that your emails cannot be deleted or otherwise manipulated prior to archiving. This helps your company to meet a growing number of compliance requirements. Besides the journal archiving method, you can also archive individual or multiple mailboxes or public folders. Other settings allow you to define whether certain folders should be included or excluded from the archiving process. Deleted objects, draft emails, junk emails, and the outbox are excluded by default. Both archiving methods also allow you to stipulate whether archived email should be deleted from the email server after a certain period of time in order to reduce the load on the email server and thus enhance performance. Now, let's take a look at the compliance area. Here, for example, you can manage the administrator's access to other users' archives, create retention policies, and grant an auditor access to the archive. In this product demo, we'll take a short look at retention policies. By creating individual retention policies, administrators can maintain complete control over how long different types of emails are archived. So mindful of current compliance requirements, you yourself can stipulate whether, and if so, when emails should be deleted automatically from the archive. So for example, you could create a retention policy that ensures that candidates' application documents are deleted automatically at the end of a six-month period. Now, let's move on to the auditing area. Here, you can track relevant user activities that have been logged for security reasons. For example, changes to compliance settings. To conclude, I'd like to present the most popular access method for end users, the MailStore Outlook add-in. With our add-in, users can search through their archive without having to leave their customary Outlook environment. Searches can be executed via the quick search function, the advanced search function, or via the user's normal folder structure. Users can also restore emails from the archive themselves without having to contact an IT administrator. 
Of course, we do provide other simple access options for the end user. For example, to support mobile access or for users who do not have Outlook. You've now had an initial insight into the core functions of MailStore Server. It goes without saying that our software provides many other functions and settings, and you will find detailed information on these in our webinars that take place on a regular basis. If you would like to get to know our software better, we recommend that you take part in one of our regular webinars and take advantage of the free 30-day trial version, both of which can be found on our website. Thank you for spending time with us. We hope you enjoy part three of our product presentation.